Hi guys, Jan here. Salamat sa pagbisita sa aking channel. For today's video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng maraming GCash accounts at ano-ano ba ang mga nagbago sa mga process nito. Good news, lima na po ang maximum account na pwede niyong magawa under your name. Hindi kagaya noon, tatlo lang. And on each GCash wallet, it should have a different mobile number. Tapos, yung transaction limit will not multiplied by having multiple accounts. So for example, 500,000 yung wallet limit mo. Your other 4 accounts will share the same limit. Now, if maliit lang ang wallet at transaction limit mo, that's because of the level of verification you have. Now, may mga nagtatanong, bakit pa ba kailangan ng maraming GCash accounts? Well, by having different GCash accounts, mas mamomonitor mo ang iyong pera on each wallet and your different transactions. Maganda ito kasi you have more control over your accounts. Especially if you have so many different transactions. Example lang natin, you have specific account for business, savings, investment, bills payment, and salary. So, lima na yun. Depende kung ilan ang kailangan mo. Kung may GCash MasterCard ka, isa lang po na account ang pwede mong malink. So, in the next video, I'll show you how to switch GCash accounts and create another account. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot. So, simula na natin. I-open na natin yung GCash app. Madali lang ang pag-switch ng account. Click mo lang yung arrow icon pointing right and left. Pero, login muna tayo sa ating first account para mapakita ang proseso kung papaano mag-switch. Kung meron ka ng existing GCash account, punta tayo sa profile below. Tapos, click logout. Now, i-click ang pointing arrow para mag-switch ng account. May pop-up na magno-notify sa'yo to switch account. Click proceed. Ganun lang kadali mag-switch ng account. Ilagay natin yung bagong mobile number for second account. For third, fourth, and fifth account, same process lang. Tapos, click next. Then, for authentication, magsisend ng one-time PIN code ang GCash sa iyong bagong numero. Kung matagal ka makareceive ng code, pwedeng mag-resend ulit. After the code is entered, you will be redirected to registration page sa ating second account. Now, to know more about yourself, please input these three sections. Basic info, current address, and permanent address, kung iba sa current address. Reminder lang po, make sure pareho yung mga details mo sa iyong ID. Fast forward lang natin. Pagkatapos ma-fill lahat, optionally, pwede ka maglagay ng referral code, kagaya nito. Then, pagkatapos, i-click ang next button to proceed. Tapos, set your mobile PIN. Enter 4-digit M pin ito ang iyong access na gagamitin pag sign in kaya make sure ikaw lang ang nakakaalam nito if you agree with the terms and condition click lang ang submit to continue and now congratulations we've successfully created your GCash account let's proceed to log in now open GCash and input your chosen 4 digit M pin and there you go for third fourth and fifth account, same process lang. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Sana ito yung nakatulong. I hope it helps. Feel free to comment kung meron kayong mga katanungan. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.